don't have a lot of time left. Okay, um, so what we want to do is we need to factor this 9p squared plus 6p minus 8. And I'm going to show you a, a method here to factor this. Um, the main important thing we need to do, remember when we're factoring, we're taking our expression and we're writing it as the product of two factors. Now since we have this trinomial here and it's in a quadratic form, uh, yeah. uh, we can use some a couple techniques yeah. that I'm going to show you to help you factor this. So one thing for us to remember, when we're factoring, right, I said fact, factoring is writing it as a multiple of two factors. Well, here, in this trinomial, our two factors are going to be expressions. They're actually we're going to look into um, two different binomials. The reason why is yeah. these all do not have in common a variable nor a number that we can factor out. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to use a special technique of factoring these to two different mono or binomials. So what we're going to do to do that is I'm going to rewrite this as ax squared okay. plus bx plus c. And that is going to be our standard form for a quadratic, um, quadratic equation, which this trinomial is in that form. When we have it in this form, yeah. to factor it, what I can do yeah. is multiply my a times my c up top right. and multiply my b on the bottom, or take my b on the bottom. I'm going to multiply the top two numbers. I'm going to, need, I'm sorry, I'm going to figure out to multiply the a times c and then add for b. So a times c, my a is 9, my c is negative 8. So that's going to give me a negative. 72. My b is the number in front of my x, which is going to be 6. So now what I wrote that plus and that minus for is now what I need to do is I need to figure out what two numbers multiply to give me negative 72, but add to give me a positive 6. So what you can do is you can look at 72 and do your little factors. Factor out, figure out all what they are. I don't have all day, so I'm just going to help you out right now. For here, they're going to have, um, for these two, it's going to be positive 12 and a negative 6. Now if you remember our previous factoring, since they're multiplying to give me a negative number, they, one of them has to be negative. And since I'm adding to give me a positive number, the larger of the factors has to be positive. So here what I have is, um, here's what I have here um, as my two terms. Now remember, factoring, when I factored it out, I didn't change the value of the expression. Six is still equal to three times two. So these are not my two, um, part of my two factors. What I'm gonna have to do is, I'm gonna have to create a way to actually still determine my two binomials. So a nice little helpful place is once you kind of do this, you can also create the box. And if you remember when we were multiplying, um, when we multiplied binomials, we kind of found the area, right? Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of undo the area. So remember, if I multiply those first two terms, that gave me the first term. And when I multiply the last two terms, that gave me negative eight. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to represent, these can represent my middle two terms, 12p and negative 6p. So now what I want to do is figure out, um, because remember, if I, re if I rewrite everything, if I rewrite it as 9p squared plus 6p minus, sorry, plus 12p minus 6p minus 8, this still has the exact same uh, mathematical value as that. But now what I did is I changed, instead of 6p, I wrote it as 12p minus 6p. And what I did is I plugged them into this box. So what we can do is, if you're used to taking those two monomials, making them a length and a width, multiplying them to find your area, I can now plug them in to now find, because what we want to do is we want to find the two binomials, right? We want to find what two binomials multiply to give me this area. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our first one. And we have two options, right? We could say 9a times a. 9a times a gives you 9. I'm oh, sorry, p. <laughs> I don't know where the a came from. I could do 9p times p, right? 9p times p gives you 9p squared. However, 9p times what gives you a negative 6p? Not an even integer, right? And we're not, right now we're not going to be working with any kind of fraction. So that's not going to work. How about over here? How about if I put a 9p and over here and a p over here? 9p times p, again, still gives me 9p, but, all right, p times negative 6p, I could write a negative 6 up there, but 9p times what gives you 12p? Again, not an even integer. So what I'm gonna have to do is we can't use nine and one as my two numbers to multiply by nine. I'm now gonna have to use three p times 
3p. So let's check it. Does 3p times 3p give you 9p squared? Yes. 3p times what gives me negative 6p? Well, that's going to be a negative 2. Then, 3p times what gives me a 12p, and that's a positive 4. Then I check the area of my last box. Does negative 2 times positive 4 give me a negative 8? Yes. So now what I've done is I've created my two monomials. 3p minus 2 times 3p plus 4. And we look at this and we say, do, does this multiplied out produce that result? Do these have the same mathematical value? And if we we're just going to check our FOIL, first two terms, 3p times 3p gives us 9p squared. Negative 2 times 8 gives us negative 8. And if I was to kind of do a little mental math by adding in my middle terms, I'll still get 6p, which works out. So therefore, that's another way to factor. Did you ever learn that one? Yeah. I've learned multiple.